Westveld, Skingrad. And usually these start right off the bat, right off the window, when we uh, teleport to the area, the main plot kicks, kicks in. And I was thinking I'm going to like play this pretty fast and not going to take a huge amount of time to side quest and all, all of that, but yeah. This usually this is like a 20, 20 hours or so if, with, with the plot, uh, main plot and more if you do every, everything. Dungeons and all. But yeah, uh, this just came, came out today. And some people have been able to play it on the PTS. I haven't been able to test it. And as you can see, there's like lots of people now around here. Ah, oh, there you are. I have been expecting you. Greetings, Proxy. I knew fate would draw you here. New troubles emerge in these lands. The footprints of the once forgotten prince now free. And where the prince walks, disturbance and disorder follow. But that is how we shall find her. Disturbance and disorder. A violent order called the Recollection scours ruins throughout the wheel. Strange Daedric creatures harry the region. And the wood elf, King Nantherian, reigns over a newly grown forest. A sure sign the threads of fate have frayed. Yeah, because there has been this mention in Old Lord that Surodil uh, was full of jungle. And when the Elder Scrolls Online came out, and Oblivion as well, it was like, there's no jungle here. So this is kind of explaining some of it. The lines of possibility that weave through reality and hold everything together. Athelia, the Daedric Prince of Paths, has been set free. Her presence threatens both our world and the realms beyond. Help me meet this threat, and you will be rewarded. Let me mark your map. Frayed threads of faith point to Rustwall, the Elenglin ruins, and Ostomir. And take this relic, the Echonir. You might find it useful. My friend Baragon offered his townhouse in Skingrad. Let us meet there when we are done. That is not an easy question to answer. Athelia is a Daedric prince. No mortal can match her power without assistance. Nor can Hermaeus Mora move against her while she walks our world. He is bound by the Cold Harbor Compact, while Athelia is... Not. Ouch! Yeah, that's, that's going to be... An ancient agreement that prevents many of the most powerful Daedric princes from directly manifesting on Nerf. Athelia was imprisoned long before the deal was struck, so she and the Daedra that serve her are not party to its restriction. And the Daedra that serve her. Okay, so Daedra are actually inheriting their mistress or mi Mr. or mistress's uh, limitations. Find her. Observe her. Discover her plans. Use the Echonir to reveal her memories. Mora chose you and requested I assist you. He believes you can help preserve reality from Athelia's threat. So we must trust that he shall guide us along the way. We know that Daedric relics such as the Echonir were used to help defeat Athelia in ancient times. Perhaps such items shall play a part again. For now, knowledge must be our weapon of choice. And our task is to arm ourselves as best we can. They are all within West Wheel, not far from the city of Skingrad. Which location are you curious about? Rustwall Estate is an old Colovian manor to the southeast, on the outskirts of Skingrad. Why Rustwall is important, I cannot say. Yet the threats of fate have been disturbed there, and we need to determine the cause. I am not sure. That is why I asked you to investigate. Ostomir is a Colovian town in the Strid Vale, not far from the southern edge of the New Forest. I have heard stories about powerful ground quakes and enraged forest creatures in the area. The Valenwood Forest mysteriously expanded across the river Strid and replaced the previous Colovian terrain. The Wood Elves who settled the area call it Dawnwood. King Nantharian rules a new Bosma realm beneath its thick canopy. 
Very good. I do not know what awaits you at Rustwall, but look for our ally Baragon at Ostomir. He mentioned he had business of his own there. As for Elenglin, I will meet you there. I am quite curious to see those ruins. It began with Torvasart, a clanless Dremora tormented by a dream he could not remember. He came to suspect that something had been taken from him, and that Hermaeus Mora was responsible. So Torvasart sought allies. The Daedric princes Vermina and Periite. Torvasard convinced them Mora had stolen their memories, too. Together they invaded Apocrypha and reached the glyphics in which Mora kept the secret. There was another Daedric prince, Athelia. Hermaeus Mora rallied other princes against her. They defeated Athelia and Mora imprisoned her within the mythos, the core of Apocrypha. Then he made everyone forget. Torvasad opened the glyphics and set the imprisoned memories free. When we followed Torvasad to Athelia's prison, he was as surprised as we were. She had already escaped. Perhaps the act of restoring yeah, this, her this happened here yesterday was enough for her to set herself free. Now Athelia is loose and somewhere in Westweald. They are all within Westweald, not far from the city of Skingrad. Which location are you curious about? Rustwall Estate is an old Colovian mansion. Okay, okay. So she's just repeating. So we have once again play, playing our hand of Alamalexia here, and well, sharpest night. I we met him uh, at uh, at uh, Telvani Peninsula, but haven't really upgraded him yet. So we haven't actually played his uh, own, own plot yet. So, Skingrad looks like a bit, bit from the like the one from Oblivion. So there's battlegrounds. I just abandoned them to die. Oh, you stopped. Good. I need help. Well, my expedition needs help. We were trying to recover an artifact from the Lucent Citadel, but we were attacked. I don't know who else survived. I just ran through a portal and wound up here. It's an ancient Daedric fortress buried in the sands of Fargrave. We thought we were the only ones there, but we were wrong. It all happened so quickly. I hope you can help them. Nelatai would know. Nothing escapes her notice. If you think you can help us, please find her. She's wealthy and doesn't care for mortal currency, so I know she'd make it worth your while. Please say you'll go. If you have any friends, you might want to ask them to join okay, so they did a I don't know if the expedition is still under attack or what is happening. It could be ex... Ah, uh, it's, it's a trial. Oh no. So we are not definitely going to try a trial. Mirror, mirror. And I, I think it started with the Greymoor that they had like Black Reach was pretty, pretty hot. Big location, so they had like this area Skyrim, which we know. That was a lot smaller than previous areas. Look around. No people. Strange, right? I detached an entire Legion cohort to guard this estate, but I haven't found a single Legionary. Not even a servant. What's your story? Do you know what happened to my Legionaries? Ugh. <sighs> I remember when the Legion didn't have to rely on mercenaries. Still, I'd appreciate the help. Until I find my cohort or the missing servants, I have to assume Skingrad's in danger. I can't abide that. Assist me, and I'll see you well paid. I hereby designate you a temporary agent of the Westweald Legion. Just until we find my soldiers. We'll search the manor house first. I'll meet you inside. 
Keep your eyes open, comrade. We don't know what happened here. So she lost like a cohort, which is like, what? Over 100 guys and girls. Well, it's usually a lot more lively. When Count Calantius isn't in residence or it isn't filled with visiting dignitaries, there's still the entire household staff. But so far, I haven't found a soul. No signs of a battle or struggle yet either. Count Calantius governs Westfield from the city of Skingrad. He's a shrewd leader. When dignitaries visit Skingrad, the Count offers them use of the Rustwall Manor House. It's the Count's way of, oh, how did he put it? Encouraging positive outcomes? I sent my Legion cohort here, the best soldiers in the Weald. The estate's proximity to the city makes it strategically important. I wanted to make sure we weren't surprised from this direction. But something happened here. We need to find out what. Ah, I suppose introductions are in order. I am Tribune Alea Idolis of the Westweald Legion, Marshal to Count Calantius, daughter of Quatrius Idolis, Knight of Colovia. A mouthful, I know, but I enjoy reciting my entire pedigree from time to time. Faithful service to the Legion, plus a strong sword arm. I fought in Varen's rebellion and defended Colovia as the Usurper War broke out. After we won the battle for North Hook, I started moving up the ranks. Now here I am. It happened at the start of the Usurper War. The Daggerfall Covenant sought North Hook as a base from which to invade Imperial City. We didn't want them there. When my commander fell, I took charge. Eventually, we repelled the invaders. <laughs> Everyone always repels the Daggerfall Covenant. My father. He was a successful merchant, but I barely remember him. He died when I was very young. He left me a great deal of gold so I could study and make something of myself. I'm grateful for that. When I was of age, I joined the Legion. When the Usurper War began, the Legion sent me to defend our borders. Colovia has no love for those grasping to be Emperor. We didn't want to get dragged into the conflict. Count Calantius heard about my exploits and brought me into his service. In addition to my duties as a Legion Tribune, I perform special missions for the Count. Right now, I'm looking into the various troubles plaguing the Weald. Rumors of cults and Daedra roaming the countryside, whatever's going on in the New Forest. It was the damnedest thing. In a flash, the rolling hills and vineyards were replaced by a thick jungle. And then those wood elves moved in and established the city of Vashabar. You can imagine why the Count is concerned. Okay, so mystery of lost. Seems everyone left in a hurry. Take a look around. Someone attacked the servant this belonged to. Blood. Servants light this when there's danger, to warn others away. Okay. Some real life habits here. I wonder if somebody tried to divide by zero here. Tribunal Idols, my apologies, I skipped there is pleasantries. Rastvanian Day, Great 
danger. Can you lend us plan we hide it in that? The captain planned to hide, but where? We need to find Captain Laronis. Meet me at the barracks on the south side of the estate. Okay, Mr. Request. Here, comrade. I found Captain Laronis. What a loss. I found that letter clutched in his hand. I found a bloody armor buried in the forest. Your legionaries are deserting, someone is killing them. Refuge in the catacombs. Groundskeeper. The servants are hiding in the catacombs. Let's talk. The bloody clothes and the warning candle suggest someone or something attacked Rustwall. And we know Captain Laronis was working on a plan. I hope to find him alive, but the letter from the groundskeeper tells us more than we knew before. Not as grim as it sounds. The Count ordered the catacombs converted into a shelter a while back. He wanted a place for anyone in residence to hide should war sweep over Colovia. Let's hope the rest of the cohort and the servants are safe and secure. Crown's Keeper Gaius is a tough old hedge snipper. We need to find him and get his key to open the catacombs. Then we can see how much of the cohort and household staff survived whatever happened here. Let's check Gaius's home first. Groundskeeper Gaius's home is just down the hill to the east. Whether he's there or not, we need to find that key. We fought side by side at North Hook. He was brave, but never foolish. Always took every engagement seriously. A lot of soldiers would be dead right now if not for him. When I received command of the cohort, I requested he join me. About three rungs on the command ladder hierarchy. I lead the cohort, but Captain Laronis usually served as our field commander. While I handled strategy and logistics details, he oversaw the forces on the ground. Whatever killed him will pay. Yeah, so this is actually a really a re a real thing from military. If you, if you are high up, you are not going to do the grunt work. Oh, sweet rolls. Just checking if we can find uh, uh, diagrams and blueprints like this. I haven't really played uh, ES ESO that much in recent years, but these are still valuable. Suck of Varen's Rebellion, nice. So we are actually getting more details about this. It was mentioned in a base game, but never elaborated. Greenish burn. Furniture here. Pretty, pretty nice. Of course, the tiles are lifted from the um, Oblivion, but... Kind of like the style, which is a bit more grounded. Gaius? Are you here? It's Tribune Alea. Thank the Divines. Are they gone? Who, Gaius? Who attacked Rustwall? 
I'm glad to see Tribunalea, but she certainly took her sweet time. We've had all sorts of problems here. Did you bring reinforcements? Captain Laronis sent the remaining legionaries and staff into the catacombs. Then he was going to call for help. Dead? Damn shame. He was tolerable as far as legion officers go. He had a good plan, too. While he hid everyone who was left in the catacombs, I was to keep watch until help arrived. I even stashed the key in a safe place in case the enemy found me. It had to be some sort of enemy army, but all I ever saw were a few wood elves sneaking around the grounds. We need to let everyone in the catacombs know it's safe to come out. Can you go retrieve the key and take care of that? I stashed the key inside the old statue in the garden. Don't worry, I'll draw you a map. Just be careful wandering in the garden. We've had an infestation of odd bugs recently. Odd and dangerous. Interesting. You mentioned something about wood elves. Other than the wood elves I spotted sneaking around, we never saw the enemy. And the only evidence of foul play was the bloody armor I found. Captain Luronis assumed it was brigands looking to rob the estate. But would brigands challenge a cohort? I've been supervising the outdoor staff since Leovic was a cub. Gardeners, masons, they all answered to me. No easy job, especially when we were all frightened out of our wits. I know Rustwall inside and out. Made it easy to find a spot to hide my key. When the legionaries showed up, we felt a lot safer. A little security in these troubled times. Then, one by one, soldiers started disappearing. We weren't sure if they were deserting or what. Then, I found the bloody legionary armor. Okay, then what? Captain Laronis suspected an enemy was picking the cohort off one by one. He expected a full-scale attack, so he sent the staff into the catacombs with the remaining legionaries to protect them. I hid here until you and the Tribune showed up. So they stealth killed like a 90 legionnaires. Okay. That's that's not interesting. Let's check upstairs. We need that key. He's using the uh, lamp of Alamalexia. Yeah. Which is sometimes good when it's actually too dark. Okay, <laughs> he can, he can <laughs> draw. That's, that's a river, right? Inside garden. How to do they get sunlight? The gardens are just east of here, down the hill. The rust wall gardens. Our map indicates a spot on the western side. Deep underground. What drove them to the surface? Good thing they hit the uh, people underground. Lizard. Oh no, not the not the things. There. That's the statue marked on the map. Search for the hidden... Leobik. That's the key. Now let's go open the catacombs. 
The door is across from the barracks. Leovic statue. Um, his undead form we killed and dist well, di destroyed. I don't think you can kill the undead, but destroyed in uh, Imperial City. Wait, where, where we should be going? So we need to find the catacombs. No, nothing nothing here the one one of those theme park MMOs that hold you in, in, in from the hand so that that's why you are kind of kind of lost when the uh, <laughs> markers pass spats out or Show the wrong place or do not give. Okay, enter the rust for get up. So it's in the building next to us. Yep, over there. Don't disturb the dead. I've noticed that loading times are pretty high with the with the current DLC. I don't know if it's because I'm streaming or what. Lots of copy and paste uh, dancers, so... Okay. I want to find my legionary. Get a collection. Okay, the collection is... Down 
down there. Tick, 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 alt. Still no sign of the escaped legionary, Shard Marshal. No matter, mortal. More of our forces will come through soon. Shard Marshal. Say, Shard Marshal Vargas. We have more than enough weapons now. That wood elf, he's with the recollection. And he's taking orders from a Dremora? What's going on here? Well... It's kind of a long story. This furniture was meant for the comfort of dignitaries who took refuge here. Not for these recollection bastards. Heart! Interesting laundry. Haven't seen that in them many games. New art. Big dogs. And this mox mo moves to just step on. Unfortunately, in this game, the taking out the mooks is about as interesting as taking the trash out. So, not really thrilling. Lead. So, if we can, we want to. Search, uh, search the relics. That's that's also part. Scry scrying. I don't think I have leveled up the scrying with this. Sword, a legionary. Jacked. Report, soldier. Hate to bring bad news to the Tribune, but I'm the only member of the cohort left. Those recollection zealots killed legionaries guarding the estate until we sent whoever remained down here. That's when we walked right into the Daedra's clutches. Well. I got lucky. I fell behind to adjust a loose bootstrap. When I heard the attack start, I slipped into the shadows and have been running ever since. Look, the Daedra have a portal. They're filling the catacombs with Daedric forces to attack Skingrad. It's in the ruins, down in the deepest part of the catacombs. Two magical anchor things keep it open. Uh -huh. Trudia is strong, and you look like you can handle yourself. While the recollection hunts me, you need to destroy that portal. So, they try actually invading this place, which is nice. Go east, and you'll find where the Daedra dug up from below. Drop down and keep going east. You'll know the portal when you see it. Break those anchors, and I bet the portal closes. I'll try and lead the recollection away, and then find you down there. I've become pretty good at sneaking around down here. There are all sorts of secret passageways and trick walls. You just have to know where to look. Don't wait for me, though. I have to move slow to avoid the recollection patrols in the Daedra. Almost positive. The recollection swarmed the remaining cohort and the servants we were protecting. They worked fast. It was a slaughter. I'm lucky I lagged behind, or they would have fallen on me, too. I managed to pull a few servants away, but they weren't soldiers. No one trained them for any of this. I can't blame them for making too much noise or being too slow with a blade. I tried to keep them safe, but it wasn't long before I was on my own. Call it a hunch, but if I'm being honest, I have no idea what it will do. It might fling you right into oblivion or turn you into a niche. 
The anchors seemed important. At the very least, destroying them is better than leaving them be. Hammer time. Me Legionary Capio is right. We need to shut down that portal. Legionary Capio made it this far. We need to trust that he can continue to evade the enemy for a while longer. Let's find these ruins he spotted down below and find a way to deal with that portal. We've got to close that portal. Please. Please. The David portal is to the east. Okay, and NPC actually jumped after me. Ah, that's a better player character. That happens when you are actually playing with the uh, with the um, shared shared world. Plenty you can do with that. That's a floating. Interesting. No books or anything interesting. I like the fact that a venomous fabricant is spawning so often. So the horse that came, it's probably from Tribune's skill tree. Pretty interesting that they are actually uh, developers are not showing the or the game is actually showing the how how what kind of skills the other NPCs have. Of course, I did uh, turn off the extra effects, so that that might might have changed it as well. But yeah, we are, we are kind of smurfing these. And it's kind of kind of point. I, I just want to see what's in, what's in here. That's why we are checking this. That's a crystal place. Crystals are evil here. Hammer time.
Okay, this this was pretty okay. Okay, he's kind of protected. Okay, can destroy that one. Okay. And then again, hammer time. Hey. That closed the portal. Good work. Now, let's find a way out of here. This way, Tribune. Follow the tracks. Evil crystals. Suppose the uh, mirror more will be will be like mirror. Dimension, well, of, no. realm of oblivion, basically. All, all quests are pretty well. Not all, but most most of quests I I think are with the same theme. Over here, comrade. Let's talk. That's a player. <laughs> My cohort almost completely destroyed. The Rustwall staff almost all dead. Even Shard Marshal Vargas managed to slip from our grasp. While we closed the portal and saved Skingrad, it feels like we failed, comrade. Uh, almost all dead. Well, practically destroyed if <laughs> cohort is there's like a two person only left. The threads of fate? That sounds ominous, but after what we saw down there, I'll keep an open mind. We learn that the Recollection Cult is working with Daedra and taking orders from Shard Marshal Vargas. They got damn close to invading Skingrad. With the portal closed and the Daedra on the run, the remaining Recollection forces aren't enough to threaten Skingrad. But I'll get the Legion to send more soldiers, just in case. Here, the pay I promised. The Legion always makes good on its debts. So, uh, Legion's Guardian, Alien Refuge set. Alien Refuge, okay. But, well, these are not plot related names. But it's a, it's a tank set. With the stamina and health. Blocking attack reduces your damage taken by 11% in 3 seconds. Oh, hmm, interesting. So, Proper sword and board set because using the shield has been like pretty not efficient in this game. It's it's uh, shield only like added your armor value, while in World of Warcraft Classic that actually gave a, a cha chance to mitigate. So chance to mitigate was hugely better thing. Than in uh, than in this game, are some are more armor. Consider your temporary commission suspended, comrade. Though I'd love to have you permanently assigned to my cohort. I plan to continue to look into the recollection and Shard Marshal Vargas. I hear there's a Wood Elf in Skingrad doing the same. I'll send for more legionaries to clear them out, as many as we can spare. With the portal closed and Shard Marshal Vargas on the run, they shouldn't pose too much of a problem. That's up to Count Calantius. I'll advise him to keep legionaries at the estate even when no dignitaries are present. Problem is, we don't have many left to allocate here. <sighs> the Legion isn't what it once was. What with the Empire in disarray. You know him? Interesting history for a Wood Elf. Traveled Tamriel as an adventurer in his youth, then became an Imperial Scribe. I understand he's retired now, but word is he's investigating the recollection. I should find him and compare notes. I'll send for more legionaries to clear them out. As many as we can spare. 
With the portal closed and Shard Marshal Vargas on the run, they shouldn't pose too much of a problem. That's up to Count Calant. Okay, we already talked about this. I'm grateful to you and Tribunal Leia. Those recollection soldiers would have found me eventually. Only so many places to hide down there. You're quite impressive for not being part of the Legion. I think I could learn a thing or two from you. Okay. Let's take the Vey Shrine. I've got to find. Oh! You look like just the sort of heroic warrior I could use. My family's farm is facing some goblin problems right now. <laughs> okay, goblins. And I'm worried my uncle is going to do something terrible. Does that sound like something you could help with? What do you think your uncle is going to do? My uncle Octavius is going to hire some hunters to cull the goblins. But the goblins haven't done anything deserving of full cull yet. Pim says there's a reason for the goblins' behavior. And I believe her. She's a goblin researcher. Pim's taken special interest in the two tribes which have camps near our farm. She talks about goblins like they're the best thing in all of Westweald. Go talk to Pim. I'm sure she'd pay you for your help. I think it is. The interesting fact about Oblivion is that they had like goblin wars. You have might heard like uh, Skyrim Civil War that it was supposed to be like battle between two factions. But there was this goblin, two goblin tribes go going at each other. And it had actually a, had, had actual mechanics in Oblivion. But it was never explained or expanded. So, I, I recall that there was this, that you can actually <laughs> micromanage the Goblin War if, if you want with that game, and that's, that's crazy. I think Pim was going to meet with my uncle, so you might be able to find her at the family farm near Grey's Hollow. I really hope you can help the situation before things get too bad. Uh, and I think it was around these areas, more or so. So... This is this is one of those ideas that was lifted in the Elder, Elder, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. I don't have a clue. They've never been this angry before. My uncle and the other farmers can forgive a few sheep here and there, but they'll lose everything if the goblins continue like this. They're not hungry. Anything they kill is left where it is. I'd say the goblins are sending us a message, but no one on the farms has done anything. Pim checked. I can't blame the farmers for being nervous. Yeah, Goblin, Goblin is there. Yeah. Let's go and get the Sky Shard. Well, at least the developers are now putting some effort to the explaining why the nature is trying to kill you. What's the dark splotch here? Ah, it's probably the jungle.
goblin just attacked me, Pim. My niece is missing. I'm hiring the hunters. Give me more time. I can figure out what's upsetting them. I can calm them down. Sorry, goblin researcher. Looks like I won. I need to protect my farm. My family. My niece Bella went out on her own and now she's missing. If hiring those hunters will save her life, then I'm going to do it. Even if Pim hates me. Then she still has to make her way back here to safety. And that's not something I can guarantee with all these goblins around. I know my course. The hunters are the only way to ensure my family's safety. She'd be fine if those goblins weren't out here. One of them just attacked me. You can see its body, there. The goblins are the problem, and Yurntan's hunters are the solution. I know it. Hiring hunters isn't the way to solve this problem. I know that goblins can be unnerving if you aren't used to them, but wiping out two camps is going too far. Do you have a moment to help me with this goblin problem? Do you know what the goblins are attacking? These goblins are more aggressive than usual. It's almost as if they're getting ready for war. When goblins fight, they make trouble for everyone. Goblins aren't stupid, though. They wouldn't get this aggressive without a cause. If searching through a few goblin camps to see what's upsetting them is all it takes to stop a tragedy from happening, I'll do it. Come with me. There's a bitter fish camp not too far. Okay, so this I is... I have some funding left over. This is you the... You can have it if you help. This is the uh, tribe from the, from the Oblivion. It'll be hard to miss the bitter fish's camp. It's just west of here. Look for the campfire. Or walk until you smell fish. Watching the goblins and studying their mannerisms would be a lot easier if their camps didn't smell so strongly. Same way you study anything else, I guess. I keep my distance and observe the goblins from afar. Sometimes they get comfortable enough with my presence that I can move closer. But I never disturb their lives or interfere with what they're doing. What we'll be doing won't strictly be research. We'll be intervening for a good cause. This time we'll make our observations and inquiries from within the goblin camps. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with my research's integrity. I'm not sure, really. Signs of a struggle? Maybe a disturbance of some sort? It takes more than you think to get an entire camp this angry, let alone two. I'm familiar with this bitterfish camp. I should be able to tell when something's amiss. Okay, what's, what's Grace Hollow? Keep your gold, Octavius. Sanguine shrine. Too much attention to yourself. I don't want to stress the goblins more than necessary. I had something. and shaman which is sleeping or dead oh no they're shaman oh look at the wounds goblin weapons don't cause trauma like that Okay, so these are war drums. Normally 
there's an incredible totem in this shrine. Where is it? Goblins never move their totem. The missing totem and the shaman. It's all so horrid. But we should talk over what we found. Losing a shaman is enough to cause uncertainty within a goblin camp. But losing their totem too? No wonder this camp is so violent. I have some theories, but nothing conclusive. Nothing good? The missing totem is already enough to get the goblins angry and mobile. But the dead shaman explains the chaos. They're scared and unorganized. Desperate. We can't. Not without their totem. Until they get it back, they won't appoint a new shaman. And whatever happened to the previous one seems suspicious to me. We should investigate the Sharptooth camp next. It's just southeast of Grey's Hollow. Grey's Hollow. Goblins are highly territorial. That's why the Sharptooth camp is a little ways away from the Spitterfish Goblin camp. Still, they're nearer than most other goblin tribes, and that makes for interesting research. You'll see what I mean. They're not as frightened of other creatures. I suppose having a camp near Grey's Hollow will do that. They do tend to get into more mischief because they're not as intimidated by the farms, but they're also not as reactionary. My only two items to see once again. Okay, two, 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 two dead sub shamans. That would probably be the stem of Rusty Knife. It's not one of the goblins. See the handle? Much too big for them. This can't be coincidence. Uh, hello? Is someone there? I need help. Okay. Uh, what is Octavius's niece doing here? Ow! I, I'm normally so good at conversations. But this blasted trap on my leg is really getting in the way. Would you mind releasing it? I don't think I'll be able to form any more cohesive thoughts with it on like this. Yeah, Thank bear, you. bear trap. Did I hear you mention a knife? Can I see it? Pim always talked about how dangerous entering a goblin's camp was. I was trying to stay away from the goblins, but I guess I should have been looking to stay away from the traps instead. You found a knife. Can I see it? She's right. It doesn't. This is my family's kitchen knife. My uncle said it was missing just the other day. But goblins don't steal knives. I don't know. This could explain why the goblins are encroaching on the farms more than usual. Maybe the sight of the knife or the smell of it is turning the already angry goblins against the farmers. I realized I just couldn't send strangers into a situation I was too scared to be in myself. I didn't get very far though. Stepping on that trap was stupid. But I'm glad I was here to identify the knife for you. So where, why is the traps in the goblin camp? Finding the knife we planted won't change anything, Pim. You stole the knife? Why? Ask your precious researcher. Her work is very enlightening. My work? Oh, adventurer. I think I know what he's doing. My last publication was on the past major goblin wars. What started them, the factors and variables that drove all these different goblin tribes to war. Yearn 10 is recreating the exact conditions of Bonecliff battle. There was a rough few seasons, 
Two camps lost their shamans to sickness while flooding destroyed their totems. Neither tribe left the battle with enough goblins to support their camps. The only thing Yerntan introduced to the tale is a knife. Which explains why the goblins were so hostile to the farms. Yerntan doesn't just want the goblins to be violent. He wants to be paid. Yerntan... Because he wants to lure the goblins to his hunters. They won't be paid unless the goblins are dead. And Yerntan is lazy enough to devise a plan to get the goblins to come to him. I think Octavius let the hunters camp in Grey's Hollow. I'm trusting you to deal out justice for the dead goblins. I'll meet you at Grey's Hollow. Okay, here's the shop to totem and Peter Fish totem. Oh no, you're not going to ruin this for us. <laughs> Slightly late. I don't need payment to kill you. That's the second boss that was uh, a bit too slow. Got to be better than that to stop us. Yeah, so they have lots of coupling stuff here. Thank the eight. Hand me the totems. The sooner I can return them to the goblins, the sooner this mess is over. Thank you. I hope this works. I was making good progress earning these goblins' trust, but Yerntan's actions might have ruined that. Well, there's only one way to find out. Here they come. Don't attack them. I did not take your totems, but I am returning them. So please, stop. Did you see that? The displays of aggression just disappeared. Oh, they're calming down. I don't know if they'll attack either of us on sight anymore. Oh, this is impossibly exciting. I think they trust me. This is such a breakthrough for my research. See how they're not attacking us? That's proof that they're not hostile anymore. I couldn't have done this without your help. Thank you. Please, accept this. I peer, sir. Primal style. Ah, nice penetration, by the way. So it's a DPS set. Damage, damage set. When you kill a monster, they burst with the blood magic, okay? Nice. Between 50% of max health to enemies. Within 6 meters, there's a bleed damage up to 24,000 bleed damage. Damage can kind of critically strike. Okay, that's interesting. This effect can occur on once every 0.5 seconds. That's interesting.
but not all, all mo monsters can bleed, or enemies rather. That's interesting set, by the way. I am going way. to be able to return to my research with a new perspective on goblins. Although, I might keep my notes to myself for a bit. Maybe I can stop the next year in ten by delaying my publications. I suppose I'll settle down here and make sure the two camps are protected from more interference. They deserve the same safety that the farmers want for themselves. I'm sure, in time, the farmers can learn to not be so scared of goblins. Between Bella and I, I think we can get Octavius to change his views. He'll help us with the others. Everyone was too blinded by their fear of the goblins to see Yerntan for the crook that he was. We can change that. I am. Like I said, the misunderstanding here was fueled by fear. But there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. There are other places in Tamriel where goblins and humans coexist. It's not impossible. <laughs>